Hello, and welcome to the first race day training vlog. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that Alex registered us both for the 10 miler in, I believe, April. And this will be Alex's second race. He did the 13 Point one, which is the half marathon last week for Disney. And we're going to do another Disney marathon coming up in April, which is a 10 miler. So this will be my first race ever. I am not a runner. I don't exercise. I don't work out. I got into Peloton during the pandemic only because there was nothing to do during lockdown. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to get in shape. And I did. I did really great. I was on the bandwagon for quite a while. And then we sold our Peloton because we were moving to Florida and I kind of fell off. So yeah, it's been over six months since I actually did a formal workout or any type of working out actually. So yeah, I don't work out and I'm probably gonna die today because today is our first race day training. We're probably, Alex kind of told me the plan for our running experience today and he said we were gonna run one minute and then walk a minute. <laughs> so hopefully I don't pass out. I'm not super hydrated. The only thing I had to drink this morning was a dirty chai. I probably should go drink some water right now, but it's good weather right now. It's 65 degrees outside, the sun is shining. So I'm hoping that it goes well. I think Alex wanted to try and run two miles. So let's see how that goes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take you out on the run. I might do some phone footage while I'm out there, but I will definitely update you once we are finished and we're back home. I will probably be red as a tomato and out of breath, but here goes nothing. Day one, let's do it. All right, I am back from my run. I don't know if you can tell I just ran. I've had a, a little bit to cool off, so I don't look super red as a tomato right now, but I did take some clips during our run and you could tell I was super fatigued and just dehydrated altogether. If there's one thing I learned today is to hydrate the night before since we are going to be doing early morning runs before Alex gets his work day started. But yeah, today went well. We did one minute running and then two minutes walking. And we did overall, I think, one mile, a little over one mile. I'll post the stats for you right here so you can see. But yeah, I think it went great. Alex informed me that we did the minimum running pace that Disney requires you to finish the 10 miler. I don't know how long they give you, but I know for Alex's half marathon, they gave him four hours to complete the half marathon and he did it in two hours and 50 minutes, I believe. And that was his first race ever. And he only trained two days. He was so, so nervous and he tried to get out of it by possibly having COVID. He's never gotten COVID, neither have I but he started to think like, maybe if I have COVID, it'll refund me the money and I won't have to participate. But he took a test and obviously he was negative. We are both vaccinated and boosted, so that helps. I know there have been breakout cases, but we have been so, so lucky to avoid that altogether so far. But yeah, he went through with the race and he did so amazing. And I'm hoping that I can stick with him during the 10 miler. I don't want to be somebody that holds him back. He said that he would stay back with me if um, I was struggling but I don't want to be the one that holds him back. 
but I would like to complete the race together. I think it would be so cool for us to have that finishing shot of us holding hands in, you know, triumph together. That would be so sweet for us to experience for our first run Disney race together ever. Um, I think after this um, 10 miler, I'm probably going to be hooked on races and I'm probably gonna wanna enter every run Disney race. I know Alex is already um, on that track. Anyways, I feel like I'm rambling. Today went really well. I think I'm gonna make this into a weekly vlog since we are going to be running every day and I'm not getting that much footage during the run for obvious reasons. I'm running, I'm trying to focus on my breathing, I'm just getting started. Um, but maybe once I get into it a little more, I'll be able to um, document my runs a little bit better. I am thinking about using the GoPro. Alex has a GoPro, so I might attach that to my um, hat in the future so I can get more footage of my runs and I'll be posting my stats on here as well and you can see hopefully the incline in my running pace and the progression until we get to the race day. So thank you so much for coming along today. I will see you on day two of my race day training. See you then. Hello and good morning. Welcome to day two of race day training for our 10 miler coming up in April. I am so excited to be running today because we skipped yesterday. So this vlog was supposed to have four days of training since I started on a Thursday, but we did not run yesterday, which was Friday. It was a very busy day and I prioritized going to the first day of Festival of the Arts. And then we had some fun catching up with friends here in Orlando. Anyways, today is day two. We are going to take it slow once again. We did 1.8 miles Thursday. We ran one minute and then walked for two minutes. I think today we're gonna do one and one. So run one, walk one. And then I think we're gonna go up to two miles exactly today. I think I'm hydrated, even though I only had one cup of dirty chai this morning. I haven't had breakfast. I find that when I work out, I work out better on an empty stomach because then I feel heavy and then my food and drinks are just sloshing around in my belly. But yeah, I will have breakfast after this. But first, let's get this run done. And I'll post my stats afterwards and let you know how I feel. And yeah, that'll be day two. Let's get started. Okay, but before we head out, I wanted to go ahead and show you my running outfit. Today I am wearing leggings from the Joy Lab from Target. And then this top is part of actually a set from Nike. I have matching biker shorts to go with this, but it's kind of cold outside, it's in the 50s. So I'm wearing leggings today. And then I'm gonna wear a light long sleeve shirt on top of this to keep me warm enough, but like also cool enough while I run. And of course I have this hat. This is the only hat I have. I'm not a big hat wearer, but we're gonna be running in sunny Florida, as you can tell, it's pretty sunny outside. So I need some sun protection. I was thinking of also wearing my Lululemon fanny to hold my cell phone, but last time I just held my phone in my hand the whole time and it worked out fine. I think once I start running longer distances, I'm probably gonna buy leggings with pockets and shorts with pockets so I can put my phone in there. I also thought of buying maybe a arm strap for my phone, but my phone is so big. It's like the newest phone. I don't know what that is. It's the iPhone 13 maybe, and it's like the max, so it's very big. So I can't imagine having it on my arm the whole time or in my pocket, but you know what? Those are problems for longer runs and I haven't gotten there yet, but yeah. Here we go, day two, baby.
Alrighty guys, back from my run. This is actually take two of my run recap because I just realized when I was going to show you my shoes that my microphone was pointed backwards. So the audio probably sucks so badly. I was really out of breath when I was doing take one. I have gained my breath back. Still a little out of breath. I'm so out of shape. This is only my second run. So I said earlier that we were going to run one and then walk one, but Alex said that we should try running one and walking two a second time since this is only my second run and we skipped yesterday. So I guess it's better to take it slow. But yeah, I was significantly out of breath after our last little one minute run to the house. We did increase our overall time and pacing. So our overall pace I think was around 14, a little bit over 14 minutes. And I think that is like the minimum time that Disney allows you to complete the race. So in order to complete the race on time, you have to be under 15 minutes pacing. So if we don't get any better by here and race time. At least we're gonna finish at the lowest finishing rate, but hopefully we get better by then. I'm pretty sure we will. We have until April to increase our pacing. Alex is trying to get me to slow down because I have an average pace of, I think, around eight minutes, and Alex really wants me to get around 12 minutes running pace. I don't know if I'm using the right terms here, but yeah, he really wants me to take it slow, but my initial reaction is to like just run at that pace. That's like how my body feels the most comfortable running, but obviously I do exhaust myself a little quicker that way. And yeah, I ended up putting on this light long sleeve shirt to keep me cool because it is in the 50s but i did end up getting a little toasty towards the end i'm actually sweating right now because it's hot in here and my nose is dripping i really need to work on hydrating more throughout the day and night before our runs because i did get significantly dehydrated i really don't know what details to give you as far as running because I've never run before. So like I said, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I'll make sure to elaborate on those. We are using the Nike Run Club app to track our progress. And I'm not following any specific diet. I'm just gonna continue to eat the way I eat and just focus on running daily and getting into a good routine and increasing my pace and whatnot. I hope that these vlogs don't get too boring because it's kind of repetitive i'm doing the same thing every day but yeah let me know what i can add or talk about to make these more entertaining and informational and that concludes day two of race day training see you tomorrow for day three and before i leave you here's a closer look at my running shoes these are under armor Here's the Under Armour logo. They have really great heel support. Not so much in the front, I'd say. Pretty good mid support. But overall, they're getting the job done. I am feeling the need for extra cushion. So like I said, once I get to running longer distances, I'll probably invest in some hokas. But for now, these are getting the job done. Okay, bye, see you for day three. Hello, and welcome to day three of our running practice. This is only our third run. Things have gone very slow because um, we've kind of been on an on, off kind of schedule, one day on, one day off. Not on purpose, but you know, things happen. Hopefully our consistency will get better and we'll do daily running. Today we're going to attempt to run longer. How long did we run last time? Two point something miles. We ran two point something miles, Alex said, last run. And we did one minute run, two minute walk. Today we're going to attempt to do one minute walk and one minute run. 
And then we're also gonna attempt to run a little longer miles today. Three. Three miles, Alex says. I'm pretty worried and scared as usual. I've only had one cup of dirty chai this morning, no water. I've said it multiple times, I need to get better at hydrating, but you know, haven't done that yet. My outfit today, still have my yellow hat. It's the same one as usual. I have on this green Target tank from I think Joy Lab. And then I have these like blue leggings. They're also from Joy Lab. And then I have my white Phantoms from Under Armour. And then it's cold outside, it's in the 50s. So I'm gonna put on this little cut off sweater. And hopefully that keeps me warm and cool at the same time. And that's that, we're off for our third run. I'll post the stats when I get back and give you a little update. Here we go. We're back. We did two and a half miles, right babe? Yeah. And our average pace was, I think around 12 minutes. It was our fastest pace. Ooh. I'm tired, I'm gonna drink this water real quick. 12.53. Ooh. All right, so our average pace was 12 minutes and 53 seconds, but that was including our walking time in between each run. So we did one minute walking, one minute running, and we alternated between the two. I think like our running pace was a little quicker. Our running pace was around probably nine, nine minutes, right? Give or take. Yeah, give or take, it was around nine. But with our walking pace added in, our average was around 12 minutes and 50 seconds, which is a lot faster than our last average pace, but we did reduce our walking time to one minute, whereas the past two days it's been one minute run, two minute walk. And Lord Jesus, it, it's cold out. It's colder than our last run. And my ears were starting to hurt. I don't know what other information to share. I kind of went over like my running gear. Eventually I will invest in some nice running shoes. Right now, these Phantom Under Armour shoes are doing the job. Although today, my heel started to hurt. Like my heel bone started to hurt. So maybe that is a sign that I do need some more cushioning in my shoe. So yeah, that's it for day three. Gonna chug the rest of this water and see you tomorrow because I am off tomorrow. So I'll probably have time to run. But after tomorrow, I will edit this video, get it up and then start a new running vlog. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope it doesn't get too monotonous and boring, but like I said, I can spice this up. If you guys have questions or wanna see anything different, just let me know. See you manana. Hello, and welcome to day four of our running practice or race day practice. I have a full Under Armour set on, Under Armour um, sports bra, Under Armour leggings, I'm not sure if you can see them. And Under Armour Phantom Knit running shoes as usual. And then I have my sun Saturday Sessions yellow hat, the only hat I own. And I think I'm gonna wear this um, short sleeve crop t-shirt on top because it's in the 60s, which isn't very cold, but um, I do want to be a little warm. I don't like being chilly at all. I know I'll heat up after I run, but I usually don't heat up that much. But yeah, here we go, day four, we're off.
Okay, y'all. Run for complete. I'm gonna take a drink of this water because I'm thirsty and red in the face, as you can tell. So hold on one second. <laughs> Sorry for the noise in the background. I think Alex is unloading the dishwasher. And yeah, that was a good run. We increased our, actually was our pacing slower today? By two seconds. Our pacing was slower by two seconds because our walking time was slower. I think our running time was actually faster but our walking slash resting time was slower and we ran 0.14 more miles. So we increased our distance, we increased our running time, but slowed down our walking time. I think because we were taking our runs faster, we were slower in our walking slash resting time. I think we're gonna continue the one to one interval for the next two days or next, tomorrow maybe? Probably the next week. Oh, the next week, Alex says. So we're gonna continue our one-to-one -one ratio for the next week, and then Alex says, when we complete that training and when we get really good at that, we're going to try and run a whole half mile nonstop, which is gonna be a feat for me. I wanna say a full mile. Oh, Alex said a full mile nonstop. So yeah, a week more of our one-to-one -one ratio is definitely gonna help increase my stamina, and then we're gonna try and do one full mile nonstop, which I'm kinda scared about, but we got one more week to, to get ready for that. So I think I'm gonna probably gonna have to invest in some nicer shoes earlier than I thought, because yesterday my heel was hurting, like the bone. It wasn't like that my foot was rubbing on the shoe, like my actual bone started to, to hurt. Um, and then today, the inside of my arch, my right arch, started to hurt because it was rubbing against the shoe. I do have wider feet, and I don't have an arch at all, so I'm gonna have to find a shoe that accommodates that. Like I said, let me know if you have any questions. Any suggestions would be great, because neither Alex and I are experienced runners. We're just trying things out as we go. We're using the Nike Run Club app and that's helping us track our progress. Alex does have Hoka's. I have my Under Armour Phantom Knit shoes, which are considered the Under Armour running shoes, but I don't think Under Armour makes like legit running shoes. Just gonna put that out there. <laughs> I love Under Armour athletic gear, and the quality is so good. Some of my Under Armour stuff I've had for seven years, and it still looks brand new, but I can't attest to their shoes. Um, so I'm gonna try and get some better shoes. And yeah, I think that concludes this race day training. We're four runs in, still super newbies. I'm still increasing my stamina and I'll make sure to post all of my stats throughout the week. And then I'm gonna post a whole summary of my four day run stats right here for you to look over and yeah, like I said, comments, questions, suggestions, leave them below, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.